Well, today is a good day. The New World Aeternum trailer dropped, and that's not the focus of this video, but the trailer itself is pretty good. I actually really enjoyed it, and I usually don't like non-gameplay trailers, but what was in the trailer? We gotta see a dual pistol wielding person who just gets materialized right away. But just for a moment, we see a character with dual pistols. I have been waiting so long for this weapon type to come into this game. Seriously, I've just been dreaming of the day that we get to see pistol, pistol dagger, pistol shield. I don't care, just pistol anything. So yeah, I am crazy excited. I don't think we're gonna get this with the Aeternum update, obviously, but it looks like in the future, we're gonna see pistols in this game. Anyway, that is some very, very exciting news. And it also leads me to what I wanted to talk about regarding New World and the upcoming Aeternum update, the auto-aim. Now, I haven't really talked about the auto-aim because I myself didn't get a chance to play on the beta server. I wasn't at home, so I, I just couldn't play it. Um, but I heard a lot of things about it. I've seen a lot of gameplay from it. And from what I can see, I'll just start off by saying this game definitely does not need auto-aim. I, I'll go even as far as saying I don't understand why they're even putting it in PvE. I get it from the sense of a console player wanting to have a little bit easier time targeting things, but hear me out, man. I think what makes this game's combat, what makes New World so much fun to play is the fact that you have to aim your attacks. You can miss. You can shoot past someone's head. You can shoot between their legs. You can miss these kinds of attacks, and this is what makes New World that next tier of MMO combat wise. I, I think that it's a big mistake to especially add something like auto aim to PVP. Now, we don't know if they actually will put auto aim in PVP on the Aeternum launch. I'm not the only person who has said, yeah, don't do that. Auto aim is exceptionally terrible for PVP and it just completely kills. I mean, it completely kills what makes PVP special in this game. So I, uh, I, I have to really caution against it there. And I think some good examples are maybe even past just shooting guns. The thing about auto-aim is that it'll allow you to land pretty much 100% of your shots within close distance when you're using uh, something like a musket or even a fire staff at closer range when you use pillar of fire will just fire out instantly. Every single weapon is going to have some sort of mechanic attached to it that you'll be able to abuse pretty heavily with auto-aim and it's not just the ranged weapons. It's the melee weapons as well. You will not miss your gap closers. You will not miss swinging your sword when your opponent rolls the other direction anymore. There is a lot of nuance to movement and targeting in a game like this. And when you add auto aim, especially to melee combat, you kill that nuance. You kill that, that movement and you basically take an entire layer out of the skill in this game. And here's my real big concern with the launch of Aeternum. Look at New World and it's coming to console. That's the big thing about this Aeternum launch is New World is coming to console. So if you take this game's combat and you take what makes it special and you turn it into tab target, like every other option out there that is an MMO, you, you just gut the game. You seriously just gut what makes your game good. This would be so devastating for PvP because PvP will lose that skill level. It'll lose that entire layer. What's the point of practicing or being good at PvP when your hand is held when you play it? You guys have watched me play through a game called Elder Scrolls Online, and I quit playing that game along with a huge number of PvP players for what reason? They made combat so dumbed down and they stripped away what made combat special, i.e. animation canceling. So Amazon, don't do it. Don't put auto target in PVP. I I know, I'm not even gonna sit here and say, I think it will be bad for PVP. I 100% know it will be bad for PVP. No one will like it. Literally, no one will like it. I don't know anybody out there who's like, yeah, auto aim sounds like gr a great idea for PVP. Anyway, now I wanna talk about the PVE side of things because at the, bit, at the beginning of the video, I made the claim of like, auto aim shouldn't even be in PVE. And I mean that, and I do. I know that people will miss their shots sometimes. And I know that especially console, it's harder to aim than it is with keyboard and mouse. But people play shooters on consoles all the fucking time. 
and they, I mean, they have some aim assist, but it's not a hard target locked auto aim like it is in this game. If you must give some sort of aim assist, do something like that. Don't do something that holds your hand to this degree of like aiming is just not even part of it anymore because that's what makes the game special. That's why people are going to pick up and play this game. They're going to look at the combat and they're going to be like, holy shit, you actually have to aim your shot. That's really awesome. Instead of all these tab target MMOs where you just press tab and then you close your freaking eyeballs and press your keys on rotation. Now, I know it's not that simple in those other games. I'm, I'm not trying to bash them like that. What I'm saying, though, is that New World is special because of its combat. Don't make it like everything else. What is this whole, oh, you need to just be like everybody else. This is the dumbest shit ever. No one who's ever made anything greatly successful did it because they were trying to copy everybody else, okay? That's literally how you make a subpar product, and that's how you aim and achieve for subpar every single time. So, yeah, I, I, I think so in PvE as well. You're, you're just taking away what makes this game special. Missing your shot, missing your attack because your opponent jumps behind you when you're swinging your sword, that's part of this game's gameplay. That's part of the nuance of this game. People want to have the opportunity to miss because then when you land the hit, it feels better. Yeah. Those are, those are my thoughts on that, and um, I've been playing a lot of Throne and Liberty lately, just trying out the game, and I jumped back and started playing New World, just jumped into OPR and played it, and it's, it's like night and day in the kind of combat that you have between these games. So yeah, I, I would think it would be a huge mistake for New World to take away from what makes it special and go the route that we've seen so many MMOs do over and over and over and over and over and over, and probably more over in the future, because it doesn't seem like MMO developers seem to get that people want maybe something different than a WoW clone. But anyway, there you go, guys. <laughs> Those are my thoughts. I hope that you enjoyed, and I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you are for tab targeting, I would also love to hear what you have to say. Um, please, guys, don't be rude in the chat or anything. I, I want to formulate discussion here. Uh, if if there is a good reason why tab targeting would be good for this game, please tell me and I will contemplate it. I will give it some thought. And yeah, I'm streaming again too. Um, if you guys are looking forward to the Aeternum launch, I will be streaming almost every single day once Aeternum launches. And leading up to that, uh, I'll be streaming a lot more too. I'm just kind of getting into streaming again getting used to playing for so long i i just didn't play new world i didn't play a lot of video games this summer and oh man my brain needs to be reconditioned holy crap anyways guys thank you so much for watching look forward to some more and i hope to see you next time